All right, so we'll uh, go ahead and convene item number one, call meeting to order at 6.30, 6.30 p.m. Item number two, roll call of members. Casey Jones. Here. Brandy Brown. Here. Jeannie Duncan. Here. James Williams. Here. Item number three, flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four, special recognition for the TSA students. Hello. You have the floor. Yes. Um, so I brought a couple of my students with me today. Um, we've gone to three contests in the last three weeks. Um, so our first contest we had on uh, March, no, February 23rd. And um, we had a team go compete in leadership strategies. Um, and they competed against 15 different other teams and they got second place. And so uh, Gracie okay. here represents them and they just give them a topic on site and they have to work through it as leaders together and try to solve the problem. Um, so uh, on that same one, we got these two that are over here, which she wasn't the per one performing in those, but we had one student that did coding and he came out first place. Um, oh, wow. That's good. Uh, then we had our mass production kids, there was five that went, and we placed second and third. So uh, we had one team do second, and Thalia here did third place. So, um, and those were just at the first conference we went to. So the first conference, we came home with three trophies. Um, our second uh, contest we went to was March 6th. That was just this last Wednesday. And um, Maddie Byerhoots was running for an Eastern Regional Officer. Um, for the whole TSA, and she got elected to Eastern Region Officer of Secretary. So she is now over the whole Eastern Region of Oklahoma um, for being a secretary. So that's kind of exciting for our chapter to get recognized in that way, too. Um, so now she gets to be a leader for the state of Oklahoma. Um, she will be required to go to things like state, and she puts on events. She has to be at all the events to make sure that they run smoothly. Um, so that's kind of an exciting thing for her. And then this last Saturday, we took more kids to contest again. And um, Gracie here has our third place for Off the Grid, um, which you guys know we went to Nationals last year for Off the Grid with that giant house. Um, their house this year fit in this palm of my hand. So, um, and they placed third, and there was uh, seven teams, I think, total, that were competing. And we had another team that was there for Off the Grid, too, but they didn't place. So. Um, we are very proud of our TSA. We worked really hard, um, and there's a lot of things that we're wanting to go forth with this. Uh, we do have state coming up on um, April 10th through 12th, and one of the main things that we wanted to come talk to the board about is our middle school students. There is a competition called Career Prep, and they have to write a, le a resume and cover letter. And um, I'm requiring every single one of my middle schoolers to do that because I think it's a really good learning experience for them. Um, we are only allowed to take three of those middle schoolers to state with it. So I want them to go through the interview process. So I was gonna ask board or anyone that knows anyone in the community that would be coming, that would like to come in and interview our students to like make them feel like they're actually interviewing for that, for that job. Um, I think that would kind of be a good experience for all of our kids. And it's teaching them that life lesson of what they have to do. Um, the other thing that I have a question for the board was uh, getting a booster club started for TSA because of the fact that our TSA is getting bigger and so we'd like to get parent involvement more and I think that's later on in the agenda but I put it in my notes. Um, I have talked to parents uh, that I have in the, the group out there that have um, offered to run for different positions in that. So um, that's just yeah they've been working um, on all of this for a long time 
I know we've competed in different things. Um, with the off the grid alone, they wrote a 17 page report with their off the grid. So, I mean, that's a, a lesson that they learned and they can tell you that it was very stressful, their first competition. I know that we had a lot of tears, <laughs> but it was, I don't want to do this. I think it's too nerve wracking. But after they were done, they were like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to do this again. So yeah. it was a learning experience yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes. How, girls, how, how do you, uh, how much do you like STEM? What do you think of STEM? I think it's a great experience and everyone should try it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, I think it's a great learning experience. Um, the community is great, like TSA. Um, I feel like a lot of people should try it out. Is it challenging? Yes. 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 Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a lot of these are first years. Emily, obviously, she was one of ours that went to nationals last year, so she's kind of our veteran. But Gracie can tell you, her first competition, she did essays on technology. And she wrote note cards uh, about certain topic, topics about pollution. And then she had an hour and a half to write a essay on whatever she drew out of that thing and had to put it all on paper. She had to outline and then wow. do an essay. So she was very stressed at the very beginning of that. But she did a great job, like she really did. And all of them like have done amazing this year. And I'm very proud of every single one of my students. But it does teach them a lot of leadership though. They've been learning that pretty hardcore. Because <laughs> that's, with every one they do, they have to write a lead report. And that's over leadership strategies that they use every day. Great. Well, thank you guys for coming. We're yeah, all proud of you. you. Thanks for having proud of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a STEM night. Oh yes, I forgot to announce that. Um, we do have a STEM night on April 30th. It's on my notes. Sorry, and that's gonna just be a Tuesday that we're gonna invite the community out to see. We kind of want to open it up so that we can also let our elementary kids know, like this is what you have that you can take next year when you come up like our fifth graders coming into sixth grade so we really want to open it up to them along with not just the parents coming because last time that's what it was really about was parents coming and seeing but we want our community members to be involved thank you thank you Item number five, vote to approve or not approve the minutes from the February 11, 2019 regular board meeting. and financial reports for the 2018-2019 school years. It's a company through the Randy uses. I got you. It's a, it's a, I don't know what the fire style, firewall. I got you.
Most to approve encumbrances and financial reports. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I have number seven vote to approve or not approve name change of the new gymnasium to the Knight Center. Well, for approximately 10 years, we've just been calling it the new gym. So, we want to give it a name. The main reason we want to give it a name is because we want to start doing some uh, um, fixing up on the inside, do some graphics, do some more things to spruce it up. And so we want to call it Night Center because we want to use those names with our new logo and kind of spruce the inside. Because we have those big white walls. We want to do something along those lines. And, you know, it's just, I think it's time to quit calling it the new gym. <laughs> new gym. I would like to get a discussion going. Um, <clears throat> Dan Edwards, the superintendent here, mm -hmm. and he did Henrietta to it. He was here 13 years, and he was the reason that we got that gym. Uh, we have been not only past bond issues, and he worked and stayed with it, and mm -hmm. wine and dine, basically with bean dinners or whatever, to get the votes. And uh, I would like to preface it. Dan Edwards High Center, if we could. I mean, if y'all think that's all right, or you know, maybe we don't have to put it on the big sign outside, but uh, maybe a plaque on the inside saying Dan Edwards High Center. Maybe do the, center, start doing the sprucing up and inside include something like that. I just say, you know, he's kind of forgotten now because he's been gone, and we have so many new people. You probably remember the oh, superintendent. Yeah. You remember him? <clears throat> so he's kind of forgotten, and and I just think. You know, I would like to see him recognized in that way. They did at one time give him a plaque. He and uh, Jerry Vale's family, Jerry had already passed away, but, um, and kind of honored him, you know, recognized him at a ball game. But I think I'd like to see him dedicated. So, would you be okay with mostly going with the Knight Center and mm -hmm. when they use that on all their logos and everything, but just making sure that we have a nice plaque or something? Plaque and something already honor him at a ball game and, you know, dedicated to him. So something similar maybe to what's in the early childhood, or yeah, down by um, the middle school. Kelly, as you're going into that gymnasium? Yes. Um, oh, oh, uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Yeah. Cox. Cox. Mm -hmm. So something like something that. Like that. Yes, yeah. there is. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it would be a big sign to put Dan Edward Mike Center outside. Yeah, that's, that's big. big, you know, yeah. but it would at least be dedicated to him and he would mm -hmm. you know, feel the glory of it. And, do you want to make that motion? I make a motion that we uh, call the new gymnasium Dan Edwards Night Center. I'm obviously okay with that. Is that is, is that what we're is that what we're saying though? Okay, second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. Casey, or James Williams? Sorry. Yes. I have number eight, vote to approve or not approve fundraiser request for the 2018-2019 school year. Yeah, I'm 
I think it's more like the little kids like the daddy daughter dance. Yeah. I think it's that way. It's not for branding. I mean, I think they kids. should. I think they should go. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> And you can watch James kiss the donkey. And they can do some good food with fundraisers. Hey, no more discussions? Okay. Do you have something big? I'll second it. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. What is the What is the problem? April 6th. Yep. Number nine, I vote to approve or not approve school calendar for the 2019-2020 school year. I like this layout much better than the previous. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> We took care of the surrounding schools and the, and the, um, the techs, and we built a railroad to get pretty much the same. And we have to stay in, in conjunction with the tech. And, and we're in on graduation, not conflict with any plans. As far as we know. Third week, third Friday. <coughs> mm -hmm. We talked We talked uh, a couple years ago, you want to make sure you come on Fridays. Yes. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the school calendar. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Oh. Hang on. We're going to get a special seat. That's what you guys get for taking a seat. I guess so. Put the belt in for Brandy Brown. Yeah. I'm number 10, vote to approve or not approve renewal agreement with Municipal Accounting Systems Incorporated for student information for 2019-2020 school year. I'd recommend that we uh, renew our contract with MASS. We've been using them for several years, well, years and years, and uh, the price is the same as last year. I'll make a motion that we approve MASS. Second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Let's take care of 10 and 11 or just 10? 10. 10. 10. Uh, no, one seven. at a time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice job. Item number 11, vote to approve or not approve renewal agreement with municipal accounting systems for accounting software for the 2019-2020 school year. I recommend that we uh, renew our agreement with Mass Software. We have to have the software to run the program. So. <laughs> yeah, second. Yeah. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yep. Brandy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. I have number 12, vote to approve or not approve 2018-2019 audit contract engagement letters the Sanders, Bledsoe, and Hewitt contract. I reckon we, uh, we approve uh, the contract with uh, Sanders, Bledsoe, and Hewitt. I believe this is our fourth year with this auditor. They've done a really good job for us. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, Sanders, Bledsoe, and Hewitt. Second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 13, vote to approve or not approve Gabbert Communications for the 2019-2020 school year. <laughs> I recommend we accept the uh, renewal of Gabbert Communications uh, with the exception of the optional upgrades. I don't recommend we, uh, we take those. We just, I just want to approve the $7,574 on the top of the page and exclude the options. I recommend that uh, we follow superintendent's recommendation. Second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Can we get him to update the website? 
or in the road and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, between the other, okay, the pictures and stuff, like the, the construction photos. No, it's, uh, no, it's changing. Has it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've known 14, vote to approve or not approve contract with Local Tech for Technology and Maintenance and Consulting Services. 2019-2020 school years. I recommend we uh, renew our contract with Local Tech. Um, it's the same amount as it was last year. And this is Randy Whitman's company. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James? <laughs> yes. I'm going to 15 vote to accept or not accept resignation letter from Ms. Caroline Barato as of June 30th, 2019. Um, September 19th, 2019 to Mr. Dwayne Noble. This is to inform you that my intention is to resign my position as of June 30th, 2019. Thank you for the opportunity. I have enjoyed my time here and will miss you all. Thank you, Caroline Barato. All my question to accept the resignation of Caroline. Thank you. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brandon Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Wade? Yes. Make sure we get her a uh, nice card or something or something for her. Uh, no, we're going to get her uh, yeah. something nice. Yeah. I'm number 16. Vote to accept or not accept resignation letter from Ms. Vicki Moore as of May 31st, 2019. Dear Mr. Noble, please accept this letter as formal notification of my retirement from the secretary position at Henrietta Public School at the end of the 2000, should the other dates wrong, the 19-2000 school year. I have enjoyed working with the students and my colleagues. Thank you for the opportunity to work here for the past 12 years. Sincerely, Vicki Moore. I'll make a motion to accept the key's resignation. I'll second. All in favor? Casey Jones? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 17. Vote to convene into executive session to discuss the employment of those individuals listed on a attached Exhibit A and also to discuss the employment of one high school assistant football coach slash psychology, sociology teacher, Google Classroom instructor for the 2019-2020 school year, and one high school assistant football coach acti slash activity <coughs> clerk slash A-plus certification slash computer repair instructor for the 2019-2020 school year as authorized by 25 Oklahoma State Section 307B1. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Brady Brown? Yes. Jamie Duncan? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Time is 6.54. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not going to All right. right. Item number 18. Knowledge returning to open session from executive session. Time is 7.30 p.m. Item number 19, executive session minutes. Discussions held, no votes taken. Item number 20, vote to rehire or table the, em the employment of the uh, Exhibit A. Uh, for the 2019-2020 school year and the hiring of two positions, item A and item B, for the 2019-2020 school years. A, vote to employ one high school assistant coach, psychology, uh, psychology, sociology teacher, Google Classroom instructor for the 2019-2020 or 2020 school year. B, vote to employ one high school assistant football coach, activity clerk, a plus certification computer repair instructor for the 2019-2020 school year. Mr. Noble, you have the floor now. Okay, now I'm going to start with Exhibit A, the list here. I recommend that we hire the following, and bear with me, I want to go through the list. Uh, we hire a list for 2019 school year. Uh, Dana Davis, Secretary. Joyce Henderson, Secretary. 
Mary Kraft, Secretary, Melanie Green, Secretary, Leslie Gillespie, Secretary, Beth Potter, Secretary, Roberta Hamrick, three-year-old teacher, Patty Shaddix, three-year-old teacher, Michelle Gurdy, three-year-old teacher, Brooklyn Fuhrer, teacher's aide, assistant, uh, Kristen Rempe, uh, teacher's assistant, Linda Greenfield, teaching, teacher's assistant, Laura King, teacher's assistant, Mickey Dwiggins, teacher, teacher's assistant, Courtney Lawless, teacher's assistant, Sahara Bright, teacher's assistant, Jamie Austin, teacher's assistant, Stephanie Bear, assistant, Christy Smith, assistant. Megan uh, Clayson, uh, reading tutor. Felicia Greenhall, paraprofessional. Katie Simmons, paraprofessional. Lucas Stidman, paraprofessional. Tanya Powders, paraprofessional. Logan Ashley, paraprofessional. Martha Richardson, paraprofessional. Kendall Hodge, paraprofessional. Donna Fowler, paraprofessional. Stacy Sadler, paraprofessional. Shelly Vogel, paraprofessional. Lori Henry, paraprofessional. Laura Black, paraprofessional. Pam Gray, Baby daycare, Danelle, uh, sorry, 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 baby daycare, and Vernon uh, Cassie, baby daycare. On exhibit B, um, I have to recommend that we hire the following for the 2019 school year uh, Chris Ashby, maintenance, Kenneth Berry, custodian, Max Klein, maintenance, uh, Crystal and Cook, custodian, Marshall Cook, maintenance. Todd Crawford, custodian, Oscar Davis, custodian, Ralph Dennison, custodian, Jim Garrett, custodian, Gary Greenfield, custodian, Mary Hart, custodian, Vernon Moore, custodian, Rhonda Morton, custodian, bus drivers, Christopher Ashby, AMPM, Laura Black, AMPM, Ronald Black, AMPM, Aiden Graham, AMPM, uh, Michael Hargrave, AMPM, Ruby Jones, AMPM, Alan Montgomery, halftime, Randy Stafford, AM, PM, Jim Wheeler, AM, PM. Cafeteria staff, Melissa Henley, seven hour manager, Sharon Hargrave, seven hour cook, Lila Foster, seven hour cook, Donna Powell, seven hour cook, Deborah Johnson, seven hour cook, Shannon Basker, six hour cook, Glenda Ashley, seven hour cook, Tina Walter, six hour cook, Tiffany Paget, six hour cook, Shannon Sneed, seven hour cook, Barbara Busey, Seven hour clerical, Paula Bowman, seven hour manager, Jill Hill, six hour cook, Jenny Parker, six hour cook, Kim Chandler, seven hour cook, Keisha Govan, six hour cook, Jennifer Lone, six hour cook, and Nancy Winslow, seven hour cook. I'd also um, like to recommend we hire uh, Patrick Turner, is a high school football coach, assistant football coach, psychology, sociology teacher, and classroom Google instructor for the 2019 school year. Also, I'd like to recommend Jesse Fair as one high school assistant coach, football coach, activity clerk with A plus certification, computer repair and computer repair instructor, instructor for the 2019-2020 school year. I make a motion to accept the superintendent's recommendation. I will second. All in favor, Casey Jones. Yes. Brandy Brown. Yes. Jeannie Duncan. Yes. James Williams. Yes. Welcome back, everyone. Got rehired and our new coaches. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Glad to have you. Item number 21 HEA report. Um, I don't think. Oh, yeah, they're here. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a lot going on. I've been messaging you guys this week too. Um, there's a lot going on at the Capitol, and I want to stress this is not an HEA or an OEA thing. This is a public education thing. Um, any way that they, we can chip away at public funding for public schools is going to be negative for our kids and basically any kids. So 90% of our kids in the state of Oklahoma are in public ed. And that 10% is needed, the private sector is needed, but for our kids to protect them, we need to um, be proactive, be at the Capitol, be emailing, be making phone calls. Um, so I know like Jeannie had said she would go, but she was busy and you guys all work and we understand that, but if you guys can be emailing when this stuff comes up, it means so much more coming from the business people, the board members more so than just us. Um, this isn't about a teacher raise, this is about funding. The news is going to tell you otherwise. 
Um, we would love a teacher raise, absolutely. However, we still have nothing in the formula for classroom funding. So, um, Mr. Noble will talk to Ashley on Saturday, and he approved for us since, to send some delegates today and tomorrow. And I cannot tell you guys how much we appreciate that. That is, I know it's a pain, I know it's hard to cover, um, but just know our, our hearts are right in this and it's not just a free day. Um, I like my kids way better than I like any of those senators <laughs> um, <laughs> or house representatives. Um, they're all good and well, but my kids are way more fun. So, um, oh, and the two people a week that you guys allowed for us to go, there's been a couple of weeks so we haven't sent people, but for the most part we have because there's education stuff going on and it makes a difference. Like I said, we appreciate you guys covering here and I know it's a struggle, um, but we can't express our gratitude enough for that. So, um, Kira was at the Capitol today. Ashley and I are going tomorrow. They did pass the 4% COLA increase today in the house, which is for our cost of living. Jeannie, you can had a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for our retirement. I know, I know, but it's baby steps are still good sure. steps. So, um, that was progress today. House Bill 2621 should be heard tomorrow, and that is the um, tax credit for when you donate to public schools. And if they want to donate, private, 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 private oh, schools. sorry, yeah, private schools. So if they want to mm -hmm. donate, I mean, they can pick it our way. But, uh, <laughs> do you have anything to add to that? Um, well, I spoke to both uh, representatives. We have uh, two, as everybody knows, Scott Fettgatter. Um, and then we have another one, Logan Phillips, who is Hughes and both, well, I don't know about Yes, I couldn't say that for just a second. Um, and the way that he explained it, uh, Logan Phillips kind of is in charge of the residential part of Henrietta, and Fettgatter is in charge of the commercial part of Henrietta. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, I voted in Holdenville because that's where my registration is still. So um, I was like, okay, I remember that one. But um, to echo what Crystal said about it being necessary for us to be proactive um, with this Bill 2621 um, that was mentioned with the um, vouchers, not vouchers type bill um, uh, for private schools. Um, he was a yes vote in the beginning, but he has had plenty of educators and you know, constituents that have reached out to him and said, please consider these, you know, options, please be a no vote. And the more he has heard about it, the more he has decided that he is a hard no and he will not vote for that bill. So, and I got a commitment from him today. He is a hard no. I asked him if there was any amendments that he would reconsider because they have struck the title, which means that um, things can be negotiated in. Um, he said no matter what, he is a hard no. I then went to speak to uh, Mr. Fettgatter. Um, he is a hard no as the bill is written at this time. I asked him if he was, uh, cons you, would he consider any um, amendments to the bill? And he said um, right now, uh, his words were that the cap is at five million, which means this already exists. Um, they're wanting to raise the cap, uh, the bill says right now, to 30 million. He thinks that is excessive. He would be more likely to consider more of like a 10 million cap. What he did also share with me though, and I asked if I could, you know, say this, I said, I'm going to a board meeting tonight. Um, so he was like, okay. Um, he said that he feels that this is a positive thing for public schools as well because he feels that um, private donations can be made to public schools as well as private schools. And he said if the Senate, 407 is up the number, mm -hmm. okay, um, if either one of these uh, mere bills, whether it be the Senate one or the House one, um, if any of these pass, he has committed to coming to every school in his area and basically teaching us how to utilize this bill to our advantage. So there's that. Which we um, really good at that. Yes, and I, and I said, are you, you know, can I report that to, you know, the people that I speak with tonight? And he said, absolutely. Um, so there is that. Um, 
I don't think that it has support in the House to pass, though. But as she so, said, the Senate uh, has a mirror one. Just the Senate thing. does have a mirror one. This Wait. one's not going to go away for a while. And since it has struck title, even if it was a, um, you might have the House vote yes, just because they want to see where negotiations go. And then it would be voted on again. Mm -hmm. so. so we do have a group that's a large group lined up to go over spring break. Um, and then um, what different days? Different, different days over spring break. Um, and the last thing is we we've submitted our intent to negotiate letter, and we look forward to sitting down with you guys and working everything out. So. And just real quickly, you know, I'm mm -hmm. friends with a lot of different administrators in a lot of different schools, and I've had several reach out to me because I've talked about our negotiated agreement that we get to go lobby, and they've all asked for it. So we're kind of leading the charge for other schools to mm -hmm. make that step to be proactive instead of just sitting back and waiting for things to happen and then have to go do something. Mm -hmm. And there are several in this county um, being proactive as well. Morris, yes. was, one. Morris, Morris was there today. Morris and Henry are probably the, the most in the county at this time, but they're not the only ones. So again, we thank you guys for coming up. Thank you for going. Stand up for a minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Item number 22, HESA report. We're out here seeing none. Item 22, principal's report. Uh, Mr. Roger? Sure. <coughs> Ms. Powell, I'll give you some notes here. Um, February 22nd, we had um, a lady come from Matoka. She came and worked with uh, Ashley Corn on our STEM lessons and she said she had a really great day um, according to what she observed she, every Friday in her elementary school we is a STEM Friday and our kids are really liking it um, today our second grade went on to a field trip to the aquarium our third grade will go tomorrow I'm sorry Friday they'll go to the bowling alley for a, a, a reward type of situation they had for their uh, math facts their multiplication facts uh, fourth grade is going to also go Friday to the Geoscience Center, and that's going to be paid for by OERB. That's pretty nice. Next week, on Tuesday and Wednesday, our fourth and fifth grade are going to be going, coming up to the STEM labs to familiarize themselves with the new testing procedures going to be going on. Fifth, fourth, fifth grade will be typing out their essays this year, so this is going to be the first year we'll be doing that. Yeah, pretty, going to be pretty yeah. Third grade still going to be on pen and pencil, so we're, we've been practicing with them in our labs down at the uh, elementary as of now, but that's going to be something new this year. And let's see, March the 7th, we had our tornado drill. We keep shaving off a little time every time we do it. This time we made it by eight minutes. We got 600 kids from elementary to the kindergarten in eight minutes. And that's <laughs> teachers are still coming up. We're coming up with ideas as we're going to possibly shave some more. Time, so, gotcha. Yep. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to more or less praise our STEM program and our kids for what they've accomplished in a short amount of time and realistically. Uh, uh, with that said, I, I'm proud of being a part of, of offering opportunities such as that and Ag and PASA and all that stuff and you know where some kids may uh, excel in areas, I think we're going to start putting out well-rounded students with all the opportunities. I had an opportunity Friday to go watch one of our middle schoolers show an ag. He got third place with his half room. And if you want to see the work that's ever put into that, <laughs> people have no idea. Okay. I basically saw him work on that heifer for about three hours uh, before it ever got to show and that might be just a little bit of the time and that that, that stuff really interests me and uh, but I'm more interested in the opportunity for our kids and uh, I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Fear? Uh, yes, our ag students did go to Muskogee this week, so uh, the pigs showed first. Uh, we had uh, two that received ribbons. Uh, if you've ever been to the Muskogee pig show, it is a very tough show, uh, so I'm very proud of our kids for competing with them being either first year uh, showers or second year. Uh, so their experience level is young right now. 
but as we start learning and growing, you are going to see our students compete at a high level. Um, we have March 28th, our band is going to have a talent show. Uh, they will perform for, I believe, the middle school as well as elementary and high school. So that will be a fun day to showcase our students. Uh, Saturday, Friday night, and Saturday night, uh, our PASA group presented a cabaret. It had a Disney theme. I did not get to go. Ms. Sontag, would you share with us on how, um, how our students did? I know it was student-driven, as I saw the students getting everything prepared for the show. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one thing that I really like to see our students uh, experiencing is they are taking ownership in their programs and they are driving the um, basically the force of, of putting on mm -hmm. the programs. Possibly they are the driving force, yes. Plus in particularly, we give advice. They come mm -hmm. up with the ideas, we give advice, mm -hmm. and then we just kind of help them implement whatever it is they want to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, our two presidents, which are Dalton Key yes. and Emma Sontag, um, they are very have very complimentary styles. So Emma's really good at making sure stuff gets done, and Dalton's very very good at making sure people like it when it gets done. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. Uh, so we're together. Yeah. So um, and they they did really well. Um, kids that you don't usually see doing it anything in school are in PASA mm -hmm. and so and they get a chance to shine so um, they all ended up at my house afterwards had a yes. good night, so <laughs> oh, you had to feed them probably uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah our prom is April 6th so that begins at you, you do have invitations yeah. I do want to um, Miss Hargrave and Miss Clark have uh, they are our junior sponsors they have done a great job along with our junior class in fundraising this year. And they started with, I think, a big goose egg, pretty much. <laughs> and they have raised enough money that our students will be proud of the prom that they have this year. So job well done. Thank you. Job well done. Also, we have a uh, April 2nd ACT test, juniors only, so we will be taking the ACT. Uh, we have um, had a, um, they have taken it in the fall, so this will be the second time for our juniors to take the test this year. Um, hopefully that will give us some valid data to see how much they have grown from one test to the other. Uh, we do have a blood drive again, April 13th. Anyone that would be uh, willing to give, we would sure appreciate you all uh, to be at the, drive, the blood drive. Um, let's see what else. I do want to uh, speak about our band for a moment. Um, during the county tournament, I had one of the county superintendents call me and he spoke so highly of our band. They, what they did this year, they had Battle of the Bands. So each night, a different uh, band's district performed. He said, Miss Fuhr, your band is like a college band. He said, they had fun, they rocked the house. He's, you know, and, and he, he even started talking about test scores. He said, you know, we focus so much on test scores, but what you guys are doing at Henrietta, you are, are developing well-rounded students. And he said, you know, you can't take anything away from the arts. And our uh, music group, we just went and competed. Mm -hmm. uh, they had made uh, improvements from the year before. So I am so proud of our students' performance, performing arts. You guys are doing a fabulous job not only in teaching people to sing, act, it's the leadership ability. Or the, our students are gaining so much and it's leadership skills is what it is. Just like you allowing them to set up the cabaret, to lead the cabaret. So kudos to you all. 
Tyler Sisson got a superior rating. Tyler Sisson received a superior mm -hmm. rating, so mm -hmm. he'll get to compete at state. And you know, one of our junior high students received a superior rating, and in fifth grade, that is the first year I think she kind of found her voice, Brad. That's wild. And she competed this year. It will it will bring confidence that she needs. I am so proud, so proud of all of our students. I'm finished. Sorry. I had one additionally we were evaluated through Career Tech on our STEM program, and we met everything. So kudos to Ms. Snyder and Ms. Traviser and all of us. Got a superior rating and everything. Yes, which may lead into funding eventually. That'd be nice. Thank you so much. Item number 23, athletic director report. Coach Vanmore. Well, we're. Uh, Fully invested into our spring sports right now. Um, everyone, I think, has already either had a match game, except for golf. They'll have their first uh, Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, they don't drown first. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that'll be uh, Wednesday. I think they move the time to one o'clock in the afternoon to allow the rains to pass. But uh, baseball teams off to a pretty even spark start. Our softball team is undefeated right now. Uh, they just finished up having a festival, junior high festival, which went really well Saturday for them. Um, <clears throat> our golf team, our boys have played in one tournament, the girls have played in two tournaments so far. Uh, they have more tournaments coming up. Uh, I want to speak too a little bit about the band while I'm doing this. You know, at the regional tournament this year, which we held, and our kids were involved in, and, and our, two, our two basketball teams were involved in and did fairly well. I mean, I mean, our guys were just right there. I was just one point, and you know, we're playing the next night. Our girls uh, went beyond expectations this year. So, uh, in doing that, um, we did a little st something different this year. We had actually the band come in and play the national anthem rather than have it just a recording like a lot of times we do. And again, there were people that were talking about, hey, that's kind of neat. And I'm going to tell you what, this band that we have this year is about as good as I've ever heard in my 30 some odd years here at Henrietta. So kudos to them. So we have a, a, a baseball festival coming up here within the next two weeks in conjunction with the Dewar that we have games here in at Dewar. So uh, we have a couple of uh, golf tournaments coming up here in Henry. And, uh, on the 28th of March, we have the boys tournament. The 11th of uh, April, we have the girls tournament out at the Henry the golf course. So. Yeah, we're in full swing. We've got a lot of kids involved, invested in our program. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number 24. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're good. I knew I'd forget it, yeah. and I should never forget this, but our powerlifting team yes. was regional yes. runner up this week. Coach Johnson mm -hmm. did a tremendous job with them. We have four boys right now that are going on to the state tournament, and hopefully, you want it large, and we won't know that until tomorrow. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach. I'm our 24 maintenance director's report. Oh, it's not here. Okay. I'm uh, number 25. Board comments. Uh, Mr. Casey. Well, this is my last meeting, and uh, it's been a pleasure. I've I, I enjoyed all of it. Some of it hasn't been extremely fun, but it's been it's been extremely rewarding, and I take a a very large amount of pride in and helping this community and helping this school. I'm a knight, I'm a Henrietta boy. I always will be, no matter what. And just because I'm not gonna be on this board doesn't mean I won't help. Doesn't mean I don't, I don't plan on being involved. And um, I'll miss it, but it was time for me to take a take a step back a little bit. And, and again, it was, it was truly a pleasure serving. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Brown. Well, um, again, just want to thank Casey for his time on the board. Um, so many different ways he's been a blessing. Um, and just really excited about um, certainly our new staff and uh, finishing up the school year. All the exciting things going on. We're all very proud of you. We're proud of your hard work and just proud to be a part of all that's going on here. Um, yeah. Actually, if anyone believes Dr. Gold, this guy does. <laughs> he, does a, he has been an awesome board member. And he's got big shoes to fill. 
he was, he's a, and I hate to see him go, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. And I hope everyone can enjoy their spring break and get back and get that testing over with. And I've got it wet when it's testing. April 2nd for us. April 2nd. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be here for you know it, and I know that is a, a big sigh of relief when you get that over with. Mm -hmm. I think that's about all. And welcome to the, the new coach. Yeah, welcome to you. Hey, I got to tell you, I was, I was impressed. I don't go to a lot of the games, but we were here that night that we played Morris. And I'll tell you what, that band was rocking that night. Yeah. I mean, I was like, holy cow, we're, we're having fun here. You know? so, uh, they were jamming out. Uh, Casey, thanks for serving on the board. I uh, actually coached Casey in Pee Wee football, but we won't tell you how long we had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute to go, so it's been a while. So I've been around Casey for a long time, this family, and it's been good. Been, uh, let's see. Uh, welcome to the new coaches. Appreciate you uh, coming on. We, we welcome you. Our hands open. Thank you to the teachers for going to the Capitol. So just hang in there. Uh, keep after. Uh, number 26, new business. James. Oh, yes. We uh, remember to pray and keep calm. Oh, yeah. And there's school yeah. Yeah. It's just a tragedy. Oh, it's not Molly as well. Molly as well. For the new business, we have. Yes. Oh, oh you want? Yeah, Brooke, no. Okay. Um, I didn't know this left off the reports. I'm doing this this one day. I'm not going to take it personal. <laughs> uh, sorry. There's a couple things uh, I was going to mention. Um, number one, uh, the class of 1965 is having a reunion here this weekend. Um, we're going to hang a plaque inside the uh, uh, high school. Uh, Ms. Wells' class built a, you guys saw it back there, built the, uh, the That's good. banner that we're going to hang in there. It's going to be good. So, but you guys saw it moving back out. I had it laying on the yeah. table. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's really exciting. We've been talking with them for oh, about a month. Well, actually longer than that. It originally was going to be we were going to plant a tree and it was going to do a bench. And uh, anyway, it turned into we're going to do a plaque in the, in by the entrance of the um, uh, auditorium. Uh, then a couple things coming up. Um, one, we have, um, down the road we're going to have to do some things with our kitchens. Our equipment's getting older. I have a plan, I worked on a plan on doing some upgrades over the summer. Um, a lot of our kitchens haven't been um, upgraded and I'm carrying to guess years. Um, but we want to do some ovens and some uh, mixers and things that's just, that's out of date, can't find parts for any longer. And we have three kitchens, all kind of the same boat, but over the summer we're going to do some upgrading. It's going to be a big project this summer I'd like to get done. Uh, another thing is coming up uh, on, on expenses. Another thing coming up, we, uh, well, of course, we have our play with uh, Liz Bielko is going to come and do it. We talked in the past about we wanted to do the additional $1,000 in the spring if we have it. And um, I, I talked to her the other day. We're not, I'm not leading her on. I told her, let, let, let me get the school closed down a little bit more. We'll see where we are in April. Because um, it takes a little long. I mean, it, we can't just close all the accounts in one day around here. We're trying to close everything out. As you can see, the the encumbrance will get smaller and smaller because we're not spending money because we're trying to close everything out. Right. And uh, so as we get closer by next month, we probably will have a real good idea of where we are. We're finishing the school year out, or at least um, April and May is how we did it last year. I think May is about when we saw where we were. So um, I think we'll keep that in your mind, <clears throat> what we want to do about that coming up. Um, some just things like that, but the big the big projects I, w I would say is going to be the kitchens, yeah. and, uh, and I want to do it over the summer. Um, and when the kids come back, we have <coughs> new and improved equipment that's sorely needed. Good. Right. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Item mm -hmm. number twenty six. Uh, new business. Any new business? Got some new business right here. Mm -hmm. Kids go ahead. And Appreciation, Casey, for your service at the Internet of Public School. We'll do the U.S. Night uh, plaque. It's got your name on it, so put that on your desk. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hold that up in front of your shirt where it can be seen. <laughs> hold it against the black. Yeah, hold it against the black. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still not good, but.
Easy, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was talking about the yeah, I know, yeah, I know. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. That would be so good. That's awesome. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. Item number 27. Do I, can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor, Casey Jones? Yes. Randy Brown? Yes. Jeannie Duncan? Yes. James Wheat? Yes. Time is 8.01. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming.